Hello everyone, this is Tim Wonderland, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Kirby Air Ride. Well, the polls have been conducted, and if you haven't caught it in the results video that was going up before this video, all of you people voted for uh, Air Ride mode. Uh, well, I shouldn't say all of you people, but it did get the most votes. Uh, 25, as opposed to Top Ride, which only got 10, and City Trial, which only received 22. But basically, what I'm about to do is, since you all voted, uh, I said it again, since most of you, correction, voted for Air Ride, that's the mode I'll be playing first, and my main goal here is if I go to records and show you this, we're going to fully complete the checklist in this mode first. Since that's what you voted for, that's what I'm going to do. So that means all 120 of these I'm going to completely fill out and show you guys how it's done the right way, too. Uh, someone did bring up the attention to, I should mention, um, you do receive free purple check boxes uh, as a prize every now and then for each of these modes. You get like five for each checklist, maximum. Uh, but uh, I'm only going to be using it in cases of extreme circumstances or if something is just taking an absolutely long amount of time. For example, um, I know I talked about this a little bit in the results video, but I'll say it again. Uh, for air ride mode, there's one mission where you have to glide for a total combined time of one hour. Whether or not that's going to happen, I don't know, but if I can't get it cleared by the end of the LP, I'll just use the purple check to get go ahead and clear it. Because I know there's certain missions that have prizes attached with them as well. And this is a good way for me to be able to at least show you what you get for the reward in doing it. But anyway, I thought about what to do first. I mean, I did look at the checklist and considered what options to start with. It's pretty much open-ended. This is completely sandbox-style mode right now because I've already showed like a showcase video of what each mode is. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by showing the other portion of this mode that I did not show. Last time I just did regular um, 3D races. I don't really know how else to describe it, but it's the standard of the air ride mode, the one that's a start game. Uh, free run, I believe I did talk about this. You could do time attacks, and then there's another one just called free run. Uh, time attack is three lap races for all the courses, um, not just Fantasy Meadows, but everything is a three lap course. Uh, they do allow copy abilities and enemies appear on the courses in the time attack run. And basically, as it indicates, it's just like a time trials mode. Uh, free run is essentially the same. The only difference is it measures your lap times rather than the combined total time of three laps. Uh, but free run's a little different. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'll find out here if I'm wrong. But I don't believe enemies appear on the course. I could be completely wrong on that. I don't think they do, though. I'm pretty positive they do not show up. And it also shows you a ghost of each lap so that like if you complete one lap a ghost will appear to show your exact path that you took last time. Uh, it's better shown rather than explained. But since I haven't done any of them I'll just go ahead and do what I did with the regular uh, uh, showcase video. I'll just do them in order and see what we can do. Now I believe each of these courses has two, at least two free run times that you can clear. I'm gonna use the Swerve Star for a good many of these including this one. Let's go ahead and change it up a bit. I'm going to use White Kirby. Uh, Swerve Star moves really fast, so I'm going to kind of abuse the star. <laughs> but yeah, if you missed it in the City Trial video, I admitted this in that particular showcase video. Uh, I love the Swerve Star. I love, 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 love the star. This is definitely the best star on this game, in my opinion. But my opinion matters a lot, believe me. Wow, I probably shouldn't be tapping the way I am. That kind of slows you down. Because every time you do hit the boost, you come to like a sudden halt. As long as I don't hit any walls, I should be good. Okay, so yeah, you can see there's like a ghost. I'm barely beating it. I think you can get like less than 20 on this course, so I'm going to keep at it. Uh, you can do as many laps as you want. It's actually never-ending. It doesn't stop until you pause and stop. Oh, this is awesome. OK, 
Okay, I don't know if there's any faster than this or not. I'll do one more lap to hopefully beat it. If not, then, well, we did our best, so... I feel... Um... I don't know how to exactly explain this. I'm not, like, 100% sure on what some of these times are as far as what you need to do to get them complete. Oh, man. I know, I paused a long time there. Oh, I screwed that up. But yeah, I was just saying, I don't know what the exact time is for some of these courses, so I might have to end up going back and redo a bunch of them. Actually, I know that's going to happen. Oh, that thing still passed me. That's the thing that gets to me, though, is the ghost sometimes just gets in front of you unexpectedly, even though it's the same exact machine you're using. Okay, yeah, I don't think I can get any faster than this, so I'm going to click end game. I say it like I'm on a computer screen. Okay, 21 seconds, and we got the soundtrack for uh, Fantasy Meadows in doing so. So, as you saw, there was one mission that said do 24 seconds or less, and the other was 21 seconds or less. Less, not less. Excuse me. Uh, Celestial Valley is next. I'm a little... Uh, concerned about this one because I don't have the uh, machine that does the best on this course. I'm going to use Wingstar though. And I just realized I'm still white curvy. That's alright. I would like to change the color up a little bit every now and then anyway. Now, while I'm in the air, I might as well do this because your first lap is never the best. I'll go ahead and say that right now. Oh, I missed it. I was going to try to get that copy ability wheel. Actually, while I'm doing this, I know there's one mission. Yeah, this is ridiculous. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. This is actually unique on this course. This is one of the few courses where you can actually fall off the map. And yes, as you've seen there, or heard rather, a chime went off because a mission involves you falling down that pit three times. Okay, yeah, this is an absolute terrible lap time. I realize that, but... Hey, we, we got a mission done in the process, so the heck, might as well do it. Alrighty. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, Celestial Valley is a little bit of a long course. Uh, people, um, or rather, not people. Well, yes, people, but my friends rather. Uh, when we play this course, we always try to figure out what the heck is in those eggs that is there on that waterfall in Celestial Valley. In all honesty, I have no idea what that is, but if someone else would like to share a theory on what they believe it is, feel free, feel free to do so. And there, I finally got the copy ability wheel. Uh, I don't know if that's a benefit or a bad thing, in all honesty, and why is my game lagging? Oh yes, there's another mission. You have to land on both railings. So yeah, see all these optional missions we're doing? Just because we're doing free run? That's what's nice about this. You get to do all of these optional side quest goodies. It's awesome. <laughs> but okay, here it's coming up ahead again. Um, that lap was a little bit shaky, but hopefully we did alright. So yeah, see all those eggs with the eyes in them? Huh, <laughs> the eggs have eyes. Not the hills have eyes, the eggs have eyes. Eyes, not See, I'm mangling words like crazy right now. You people probably think I'm drunk. And knowing me, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I get that way sometimes. I'm just... so goofy. Anyway. Oh, I missed the ramp. Wingstar does better when it's in the air, though. Uh, I really don't want to look around behind me. I was... Oh, shoot. And yeah, you can fall off right there, too. Because I messed up. I forgot about that. I thought the only place you could fall was that cliff I showed you earlier. But I forgot you can do it there, too. Okay, we gotta do one more of these. Because surely we can get a faster time. So yes, what do you people think's in those eggs? Could it be Chicks of Dynablades? I don't know. Dynablade appeared on this game, and we are in a mountainous territory. 
Although I am basing this off the Kirby anime, so I don't... Well, no! Dinoblade was on a mountain in uh, Superstar as well. So, ha! I'm not fully wrong on my hunches here. Oh, I missed that cliff again. If I could get that cliff, I know I would get a really good time. Because Wingstar does much better when it's in the air. You'll notice the speed goes up. Okay, there. Finally did it the right way that time. Okay. We're doing good so far. And I don't see the trail of light behind me. I kind of messed that up, though. Oops. I don't know if that rail makes me go fast or not, but I prefer to take it, just in case. I think you have to get below 58. Or maybe not. I think I'm going to end it here. Because maybe you don't have to get as fast as I thought. Okay, yeah, that was not the best lap time. Um... Because, like I said, there's always two of them. And that was a huge bundle. In the process, we got two free checks. So, yeah, here's what I was talking about when I was saying this earlier. Um, you get free checks. Basically, if you use it, it says use one purple check to check a box on the checklist. So, you can pick, essentially, almost any mission you want. I think there are a few that it will not take, such as this one. I did remember... Excuse me. I did remember... Uh, the one that's at the bottom right for all three it will not take because it's one of those like default achievements where you basically clear 100 missions and you automatically get that one I know it's weird but like if I wanted to get rid of this mission I would pick is this okay and then pick yes but I don't want to do that because that's not a difficult mission but yes oh here it is the one I mentioned before glide for more than one hour this could take a while for me to get so if I get to the end of the LP and I still don't have this done. I'll just use one of these to go ahead and mark it off. Uh, but anyway, let me see if... I'm going to look around here to see if I can find any free runs for Celestial Valley. There's Magma Flows. We need to do a minute one. I'll have to keep that in mind when the time comes. Also, something else I'm going to mention. Um, with the exception of this video... A uh, oh, minute five for Sky Sands... In the future recordings I'll be doing, I'm just going to like do mass recordings. So the video might abruptly end without me giving like a proper out, um, outgoing. You know, saying like this is to a one day, I'll see you guys next time. That kind of jazz. It might just suddenly end because I'm going to do like mass recordings. Because I'm trying to take advantage of the free time I have right now. I am on fall break as of right now that I'm speaking about. Or as I'm speaking rather. Oh, we have to use Wagon Star to get that one. Uh, I might do that since I now learned about that. Uh, let me see though. Okay, one minute thirty-five. It, we might not be able to find this. I'm just looking to see if I can find the other Celestial Valley uh, free run times. Oh, that's time attack. Oh, we'll be using Swerve Star, so that's good. Okay, but um. Yeah, what I plan to do is just, like, record the whole way through for one session. I won't be doing it for this one, but for future ones, I will definitely be doing that. Oh, you have to get under 57 seconds. What did I get? 57.26. Oh, man, I was that close. Shoot. Uh, do I want to do that? Not really. I think I'm going to skip that for now, because, like I said, I'm not using the best star for that mission anyway so yeah I'm gonna skip it. I'll be moving on to uh, Sky Sands here a minute five I believe is what it was we're gonna use Wagon Star this time and I'm gonna change it to let's go with Red Kirby kinda matches the decor of the star and don't even bother to do any charges or boosts with the Wagon Star because well it can't do that uh, it lacks a boost function uh, to make up for it, though, it is slightly faster than the Warp Star. Um, and when, I often compare this to uh, um, the Warp Star, because the Warp Star is like the default star in the game. It's pretty much the all-around star, so it's like got a very all-around statistical average on every stat. 
So it's got decent speed, decent acceleration, decent control, decent gliding, all that good stuff. So every time I like compare a star, I often compare it with that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd use the wagon star on this course anyway. And I don't know if I get rid of all that sand coral, if this will count or not. Okay, well that's 51 seconds. Yeah, we definitely beat a minute 5. Um, but I'm going to keep going because I'm pretty sure you can do better still. Oh, I know you can do better. You can always do better when it comes to these kinds of things. I'm kind of curious to know like what the fastest times, if there's like world records of people doing this, like what their actual fastest times are compared to mine. Because I know there's got to be like an expert player out there somewhere who can... I missed that stinking boost again. Jeez. Oh, it caught up to me. That's not good. Uh, I was saying, though, there's got to be someone in the world who's gotten, like, speed... Oh, what a, what's the word I'm thinking of? Speed runs of their lap times. They had to have done better than me. Especially when I use stars like this. But anyway, yeah, the Wagon Star, um... Just to go back to its little statistical overview, it's slightly faster than the Warp Star. Uh, gliding kind of sucks, but it does get like a nice jump whenever you do attempt to glide. So it does kind of get like a nice lift, I guess you could say. Because it'll be kind of escalated into the air when you try to glide with it, and then you'll find out it doesn't glide, but you still got a nice jump in the process. There, I finally got that boost. So yeah, like that. It's not the best glide, but at least you get a jump out of it, so... A jump is better than just simply, like, pulling off the platform and nothing happens. That is always better. Speaking of always better, I really wish I could have beat 50 seconds there, but... Oh well. Oh man, how did it do that? Uh, what else to say? It doesn't boost. Oh, it does have fast acceleration. Oh, don't do spins. I did that unintentionally. Um, I apologize. You'll see me do that and complain about it, by the way. Uh, for some reason, I have a very bad habit of activating quick spins when I don't mean to. And I did miss that jump. That's gonna cost me. Although, I am gonna try to get all the sand coral. Yeah, there's no way I'm beating that thing. Or maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, maybe I wasn't... I was being a bit hasty there. I think. What's funny is when you look back at this stuff and you're like, How did I do that? That's what gets me. Uh, I'm probably not going to do all the courses here in this video because... A free run, that is. Because it is taking me a little bit longer than I thought it would. But that's because I'm, like, doing several laps. And my hunch was correct, uh, there are no enemies. Now that I'm at this point in the video, and finally addressed that. Oh! See, there's what I mean. I did the stupid quick spin. And that was just because I unintentionally did left and right on the control stick, and it kicked in by accident. At least I'm ahead of it. Okay, good, we beat 50 seconds, so I'm gonna end it there. Uh, maybe I already got the best times you can. Yes, I did. 53 is apparently the considered the best. Okay, moving on, we got Frozen Hillside. Uh, I'm going to stick with Wagon Star again. And let's go with Blue since it's an ice course. White would have been much better, actually. I should have saved White Kirby for this course. Oh, well. Uh, I would use the Swerve Star on this, but... Uh, Swerve Star, unfortunately, one of its uh, weaknesses is that it's a sucky glider, and it does not get a great jump. Um, so yeah, it wouldn't do as good on this course, I don't think, because there's like that shortcut that I just showed you. If you can go up that way, I feel like you can do a lot better on courses like this. Try to get through all these speed uh, panels, thingies, I don't know what you call those thingies this is. Uh, that was kind of pointless, so well. I wonder if that stays permanently broken, though, since I busted it, or if it'll respawn. It's ice, so it'll probably come back. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, and 
Someone commented that they love this song, by the way. I do too, actually. I do like this song a lot. In my opinion, this game has a fantastic soundtrack. That is one thing I love about Kirby Air Ride. Uh, you'll probably see this in my top 5 video, but it's not number 1. I will go ahead and tell you. Uh, as far as what number 1's gonna be, you'll just have to wait and find out, I guess, won't you? I'm thinking I'm only gonna have to do two laps on this course, by the way, because I seem to be doing good. I just had that little mishap there in the ice tunnel. If it comes back again, I'm not gonna waste my time trying to bust through it, because... And there I did another quick spin. See what I mean? I'm not trying to do quick spins, but they happen anyway. I hate that. Alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Magma Flows is up next, but I think I'm going to stop the video here pretty direct because... Well, let me check my time. Okay, well, I'm going to stop this course. Oh, you could apparently do faster than a minute ten. Okay, well, I only got one out of that. Let me see my time here. Yeah, now's a good place to stop, because I'm over 20 minutes. So yeah, next time I'll pick up with the rest of Free Run and do the other courses that I did not show. I know this is kind of the same as what the tutorial video was, but hey, we did get a handful of missions done. We did have 17 completed, and we did 9 more in this video alone, so there you go. Progress. That's what matters. Uh, let me see... I'm just gonna do... Okay, you get a free check from d dropping off the cliff. Um, where did I get the other free check from? It was on Celestial Valley, I know that much. Is it this one? No. Oh yeah, we did get this one. Uh, this is an alternate song for Celestial Valley. So yeah, it's a remix of the forest theme from Kirby's Adventure. It's... yeah, it's fine. I, I know I just recently said that it has a uh, fantastic soundtrack. That song's alright, though. I shouldn't diss it. It is nostalgic. It's not my favorite song, now. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna hate me for saying that. Because I do know it actually is a popular song. Uh, yeah, use the copy chance to be on top of the tree. Okay, so that was our other check. And then the other one was to fall off the cliff three times. So yeah, we, we're making good progress here. Alright everyone, that's it for today. I will go back to free run next time to show you guys more awesomeness in air ride mode. Hope you guys are happy with what you picked, because this is what you're going to be seeing. Uh, Till next time, this is Tobe Wonderland, and I'll see you guys back with more Kirby Ride. Peace out.